Today marks two weeks since 92-year-old William Weber went missing from the Fox Point Apartments in East Moline. The East Moline detective in charge of the case says it's rare for someone to disappear like this. William Weber was 92 years old when he went missing, two months to this day. With that, he's missing in a silver Malibu in 2012. With an Illinois veteran Blue Heart license plate and plate number 2610P3, the car also has a Korean War sticker on the trunk. He's been missing for almost two months, like Jacob said. His family knows nothing. He used a walker to get around. His walker is also disappeared with him along with his vehicle. Oh, that's the walker, that's his jacket that he's missing in. For two weeks now, Candace and Randy Weber have spent countless hours searching for their father and in-law, William Weber, known to them as Bill. He's a Purple Heart recipient from the Korean War. Yesterday was Memorial Day. They last saw the 92-year-old at his Fox Point apartment on the evening of March 29th. And then Saturday morning when we had his grandson come to deliver the paper, he was gone. Bill literally vanished without a trace. No sign, no nothing. He loved the John Deere tractor plant in town as well. So he liked to take drives down to see the, the John Deere tractor, which East Moline is the capital of John Deere, which is heartland, farming at its best. The heart of what puts the food on our table is John Deere. Uh, and he loved that company. So he liked coming down here, seeing that. We need to figure out where he's at and we need the public to help because he's he's in a parking lot or he's somewhere. I appreciate you coming with. And, yeah, uh, it's teamwork. It's always a good, always a good team when uh, when Doug's here and, and we're all ready to, you know, try to bring some lost loved ones home. Yeah, so we're gonna find them today. That's what it takes. Even though a lot of other teams have been here and done it, it takes a certain level of uh, technology awareness, knowledge and just overall capability. And that's the difference between getting results and not getting results. That is a truck, sir. That could be the kid we're looking for. Good? Need anything from me? Prayer. Done. You got this. Prayer. You're good. We do have a car and it's not been here very long at all. Uh, you, you can't even really see, you just see the shadow. Um, very indicative to a car that's been in here for a very short, short time. Uh, do I feel like it's, it's William Weber's? It's a good possibility. So we have located William Bill Weber's vehicle. William again went missing on March 29th, 2024. So almost exactly two months to the date. We do have Doug Bishop with United Search Corps with us today. Doug was able to at least say that the windows are up and intact, no vehicle damage. 
We do have out here with us today the East Moline Police Department. Chief Ramsey and his officers have been absolutely incredible. We're so thankful that, that they're allowing us to not only be here to help this family, but being able to participate and you know, seeing this all the way through. So we have Cantrell's Towing. They're going to be the tow company today. Doug and Aaron have gone over everything as far as their plan of attack on how we're going to get everything out, the tools, the ropes, things like that that Doug's going to be using to connect to the vehicle, get it pulled in very slowly, safely, securely. This vehicle is coming out. Right now, Doug is respecting the fact that the driver's side window is open. So we want to be able to cover it up for the public, public's eyes. Um, he is going to secure a blanket on the driver's side and uh, we're going to get, get the car removed and uh, bring him home to his family. body found in a vehicle submerged in the Mississippi River today is Weber. The 92-year-old has been missing for two months. Divers at Empire Park told police earlier the vehicle matches the description of Weber's silver Chevy Malibu. Family tells News 8 they have a mixed feelings, a feelings of sadness and relief about the closure. In searching for William Weber's car this morning, we were able to locate a truck first, right off the boat ramp here. He is going to float down to this buoy over here. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. He's gonna search around that vehicle. He is going to uh, check it as much as possible. Again, that current down there is absolutely just ripping today. Nope, there he went back down. Uh, what is he doing? He's got something. He's got something. Or he would have... He would have come signaled. up. up. Yeah, he'd have, yeah. He, would, he would have signaled. I don't know. Either that or he's hung up. Unless it's nothing and he's trying to pull the magnet off Hopefully with it. Hopefully he's not, because he's not going to... You okay? He's not okay. Something's up. He hasn't signaled anything. It's making me a little nervous. Yes. And he, he has said nothing. Am I making it? Yeah, you're making it. Keep going. Keep going. No? What? Nobody inside? No. Well, couldn't tell. Reached my hand in there as far as I could. I couldn't feel anything. Single cab. That current was ripping. I just barely felt the uh, Chevy emblem in the front. Bow tie. I ran my hand across it. I'm like, oh, that's a bow tie. 